No freaking way! How does this work? How am I meant to text on this? I feel like I'm gonna literally need to use a toothpick. Hello? What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different and we're actually gonna be testing out miniature products that actually work. I wanna credit Hopescope for this video idea. I saw it on her channel and honestly, it just looked like so much fun. So I wanted to give it a go myself. So I've ordered a bunch of miniature products from Amazon and we're gonna test them out together. If you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys wanna stick around, be sure to subscribe down below. But honestly, I really really want to try out these products and see if they actually work so let's just jump straight into the video so here is my box of goodies any mini miny mo what is this the first miniature product we're going to be trying out is this teeny tiny turntable how freaking adorable is that does this actually work like how is it going to have the needle and everything i mean turntables tend to be quite complicated machines i mean there's the components all the needles and all that so i really doubt this tiny version is going to have all that here it is this is what it looks like oh my god it even has the vinyl CDs. No freaking way. Look at this, you guys. It even has the little arm that like moves. That is crazy. This is insane. It is so cute. It even has the little vinyls. And then what else is in here? Oh my gosh. It has the vinyl sleeve so you can put the vinyls into it and they actually look legit. Okay, we honestly have to try this out. All right, so here we have everything laid out that came inside this little turntable box. So we actually have three different vinyls. So we have a classic rock, we have a 70s funk and a jazz band. I'm not too sure which CD is meant to be what, but let's just open this up and see how this works. It doesn't actually have an on button, so I'm guessing it's just literally gonna turn on as soon as I put it in. Oh my God! It's quite loud. Okay. <laughs> That's that one. I'm guessing that's the classic rock, so I'm gonna put that in there. Let's put in the next vinyl and see which one this is. Okay, that was definitely the 70s funk. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, and lastly we have this one, which I'm guessing is the jazz band. Let's put this one in. It's actually quite loud. It's just got a little speaker right under there. So basically each track is about maybe 15 seconds and it pretty much just stops playing on its own. I think the way it works is that it has these little magnets on the back of the vinyl so it knows what song you're gonna play. Honestly, I feel like this is so cute. Any vinyl or record player lover would definitely love this. Okay, up next we have these two things which is a miniature eight ball and a miniature etch-a-sketch. Look how tiny they are. Let's try out the eight ball first. Okay, so here I have have the eight ball. I'm not actually gonna open this because I'm planning on donating this afterwards to a charity shop. So I feel like that's gonna be better if it's in its original case, but you can still see the result on the back. So let's ask it a question and see if we get an answer. Oh God, what am I gonna ask it? I have no clue. Maybe, will I ever have kids? Let's see. What does it say? Sure. <laughs> It's like, mm, all right, sure. It's not a definite yes, not a definite no, it's just sure, so I'm happy with that. And then we have the Etch-A-Sketch. This is like my childhood. I used to love these things and I used to actually have a full-size version of one. This is so cute because it's kind of like a pocket-sized version of one and I feel like this would make a really good fidget toy. Okay, so here is the tiny minuscule Etch-A-Sketch. I'm so excited to use this. What should we draw on it? Honestly, I've never been that great at these, but maybe Maybe I'll try and write my name. Oh God, I don't know. I don't know how to use this. It's been a lot of years. Many, many years have passed since I've used one of these. So the right one goes up and down. That one goes right and left. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. <laughs> this is literally gonna look like a kid has written this. Okay. Oh, I'm kind of getting the hang of it now. Oh no, it's going wrong. It's going so wrong. <laughs> 
That is the wonkiest O I've ever seen. I can't do this. I can't do... <laughs> That is the worst X. Okay, and then just an I. Come on, we've got this. There we go. That is Roxy, spelt by a two-year-old, clearly. This is actually a lot harder to use than I remember, and especially now that it's so tiny. Oh my God, a miniature Henry the Hoover. Are you joking? This is so cool. I feel like Henry the Hoover is a staple of any British household, and I am just so excited for this. Here he is. It like pipe oh maybe it's inside let's have a look oh it is here it is all right so here's my henry the hoover with all the parts laid out i'm guessing i'm just gonna put this together now so that goes in there that goes in here i think these are like spare little attachments and then that plugs into the actual hoover itself i've already put batteries inside so let's try and turn him on oh wow it's actually not even that loud I can't believe he actually works. All right, so I've got a little bit of dirt that I just literally picked up from outside. And we're gonna see if he actually works and hoovers this up. Three, two, one. <gasps> it actually works. Oh my God. It's pretty powerful too. Wow. So then the dirt goes inside here and then you can empty it out. This makes such a cool desktop hoover. Honestly, I love this. Okay, the next item we're gonna be trying out is the world's smallest cell phone. I mean, judging by the box, this is definitely gonna be a small phone. I mean, compare the box on its own next to my iPhone 12 Pro, this is gonna be tiny. Okay, here we are. Let's open the world's smallest phone together. Three, two, one. Oh my God, that is even smaller than I imagined. What the hell? Like the box is massive compared to the actual phone. Are you kidding? Oh my gosh, look at it. This is so small. Literally, this is the size of it. Are you actually joking? How does this work? How am I meant to text on this? Cause this is tiny. I feel like I'm gonna literally need to use a toothpick. Look at the difference between this tiny phone and my iPhone 12 Pro. How many of these could I actually fit in here? The fact that this is a functioning phone and it cost 40 pounds is ridiculous to me. All right, so I have my SIM card here. Okay, it goes this way. Two bars of charge. It has the time and obviously that's completely wrong, but I really wanna see if I can actually make a call. So how do I, do I literally just type in the number? I'm gonna use this little thing because I feel like it's gonna be so hard. Zero. <gasps> Did you hear that? Listen to this. Seven. Can you hear that? Seven. <laughs> it actually talks. Wait, I'm getting texts. I have one unread message. What does that say? Oh my God, this is the world's smallest text. Oh, it's emojis. You sent me emojis, didn't you? It just comes up as squares. <laughs> this phone ain't that advanced. It can't take emojis. Oh my God, I've got four unread messages. Popular, lose, loser. <laughs> That you have to wait till you actually read the whole word because <laughs> it only shows you like four characters all right so i've got matt's phone dialed in let's see if it can ring wait answer hello oh my god listen talk. hello is it loud wait talk oh my god it's very quiet but i can hear it you try hello <laughs> right. Hello, is it me you're looking for? <laughs> I thought it would be a bit more, I thought it was more high pitch. <laughs> oh my gosh, this tiny little phone can actually take calls. I don't believe this. I'm gonna try and ring sherry Ann, who is Matt's sister, and <laughs> she's not gonna expect what the hell I'm ringing her off of. Oh, it's actually ringing. <laughs> can I do loudspeaker? Hello? Hey, hey it's me. <laughs> I want to ring you on the group chat a sec because I want to show you something. <laughs> She's like, what is this number? Hang on, hang on. Answer on the um, Facebook group. Your voice. I didn't even hear you say who you were. Okay, so what I just rang you off of is this. <laughs> it's the world's smallest phone and I really wanted to see if I could ring you on it. What did it sound like? Like shit. 
Oh. <laughs> was it? Could you tell that what I was saying though? <laughs> When I was talking to you, I was like, hello? Like, literally, the phone was in my ear, like, hi. Okay, so that phone definitely works. The line was a little bit crackly, as sherri -Ann said, but I'm honestly so chuffed that this actually worked and I was able to receive some texts. I still am yet to figure out how to actually send a text, but I will definitely, without a doubt, find out because that is so cool now the next miniature item we're going to be trying out is this this is a miniature arcade machine it's got loads of retro mini games on here and i just love it it's so cute okay let's unbox this bad boy honestly i've never been more excited than this because i absolutely love retro games here it is oh it's so cute and small apparently there is 240 games on here on this little machine on <gasps> Wow, this is so cool. Wait, so what game should we play? <gasps> They've got so many. Let's do Candy Workshop. I've never played this. I don't know how to play, but we'll figure it out. I do. Oh, wait. Are you supposed to like, I have no clue how to play this. <laughs> I'll play. Oh, okay, I get it. So you catch the sweet and then you put it on the little tray. I'm not particularly good at that one. <laughs> Let's do a different one. Let's try Cookie's Labyrinth. Okay, I'm good at labyrinths, I think. So you're supposed to like grab all the cookies on the way. Oh, this is so cute. The joystick actually works pretty well too. I thought it would feel a little bit like gimmicky but it does work, so I'm impressed. Yay, woohoo! I love this, I think this is so much fun. Definitely, again, another great gift for a kid. It's got so many games in such a little machine, so I would highly recommend getting one of these. The next item we're gonna be trying out is the world's smallest walkie-talkies. Honestly, since I was a kid, I've always wanted a set of walkie-talkies, but I never had any siblings to even play with, so honestly, this is like me living out my childhood childhood dreams. Look how freaking tiny these are. They're so adorable. All right, so the walkie-talkies are all set up. Literally, the batteries were already in, so that's nice and easy. I guess I'm just gonna give this one to Matt, and I think you're gonna have to go outside because I don't really know what kind of interference these have, but I don't think you're supposed to be, like, too close. Mine's on, but there's nothing. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna do anything. Let me, um, so you go outside, and I'm just gonna press the button. I'm gonna talk and then you do the same, but I'll talk first. Yeah. Hello. 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 Are you receiving? Hello. 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 It just makes a sound like this, but I can't hear anything. Hello. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> I don't think these work. Where's the manual? Honestly, there's only like two buttons on this. So there's the talk button and the code key, but it's not doing anything. Up to 10 meter range, flexible antenna push to talk. <laughs> I can just hear him like outside, but not through this. So Matt says he can only hear it when you press your ear up against it. So let's try that. <laughs> strong it was so faint I know, yeah, fairly... but okay but it says up to 10 meters so why don't you try like closer but then why would you even hello. use it yeah. hello hang on Talk. hello oh my god it works now all right okay. <laughs> so, so the range isn't 10 meters it's, it's like 10 millimeters okay these do not work i am very disappointed because this was literally going to be me living out my childhood dreams of owning a walkie-talkie but they don't even work so what's even the point this is going straight back i'm very disappointed and now the very last item we're going to be trying out is the world's smallest art set slash canvas i'm sorry but look how miniature that easel and that canvas is this is the cutest thing ever the paints are a little bit unproportional compared to like the easel and the canvas but it's okay i've not painted anything in a hot minute to be precise since my video where I customized anime bags that I gave away to you guys so I'm actually quite excited to get creative again so let's go paint something all right so here is the 
craft set and everything that is included. So we've got the tiny, tiny little easel, which is so adorable. We then have a couple of different canvas sizes. And by canvas, this is literally just like a little bit of cardboard that kind of has a textured sort of layer to it. Okay, so let's pop the canvas in there. Then we have some paint brushes and the paints. I think I'm just gonna paint like a sunset or something. Okay, so we're doing kind of like a gradient situation on the sky. I'm then putting down some kind of like grassy hills. I'm then gonna paint some clouds in the sky just very, very quickly. And lastly, I'm just gonna paint some trees on the tops of the grassy kind of hills. And that is my complete artwork. I have to say it's not my best work because these brushes are literally so bad. They're definitely not the most precise brushes, so I probably should have skipped doing the trees because they kind of ended up looking a little bit thicker than I expected. But overall, I definitely had fun. It was a little bit tricky painting on such a small scale, but I think it's a really cool idea and I think this would be such an amazing gift for kids. All right, guys, so that was everything for today's video and trying out all these functional miniature products. Products. I honestly had so much fun trying these products out. They definitely make really cute toys for kids. But let's be real, even though I'm an adult, I still really enjoyed myself. If you guys want to see another video like this, definitely let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I have actually seen the world's smallest blender as well as the world's smallest Jenga set on Amazon, so I could always try those out for a future video. But anyways, that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video as always. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Bye.